All right, we are back. Day two. Help me out, everybody. Of. All right, well done. That's all we get today. That's a big victory for us. It's our way of making you a better news consumer in this age of information overload. The object is to spot the fake story. Al and Allie got off to a shaky start on Tuesday. They both mistakenly thought that Matt's extreme ironing segment was bogus. But Savannah, Sean well, Hayes, bogus, gained you. Yeah. Sean got you a point, Savannah, going oh, against the grain. He, and this back? morning, we have Natalie here to present two stories. Natalie, let's, what do you have for us first? All right, okay, our first story involves the natural food movement, which is more popular than ever. Well, one Vermont native is selling what he calls the least processed food on earth, but would you be willing to eat it? Hi, would you like to try a sample? Edible earth. This is called soil. Yes, you heard right, soil. Greg Billing sells dirt. But it's not intended for vegetable or flower gardens, it's for eating. Full minerals, iron, calcium. You know, I'm not saying go have a whole bowl of dirt, but in small amounts, the right kind of soil is filled with minerals and good bacteria. If you're still wondering why anyone would want to eat dirt, that's what Billings wanted to know four years ago when his partner Linda was pregnant with their youngest child. Greg dropped a banana at a picnic, and even though it was covered in dirt, I really wanted to eat it. I looked up eating dirt, and it's actually a real thing. It's called geophagy, and it's been done for centuries all over the world. Billings spent his free time sourcing and tasting various types of dirt as he tried to get his company, Real Soil, off the ground. It was tough. People just didn't get it. Going back in time to what But when he started offering free samples at upscale food stores, Billings hit pay dirt, and his mail order business took off. Today, he charges over $20 for a small bag. Still, some health experts have their doubts. Dirt does contain nutrients and some fiber, but it also contains fecal matter. Billings says he bakes his product low and slow, killing any harmful bacteria. Whether that's enough to convince mainstream America that dirt is something they want in their kitchens is another story. I'm sure the first guy who said, let's put water in plastic bottles was laughed out of the room. But I think I found the next big thing. And all I had to do was look down. All right, who's hungry? Matt, Al, Savannah, what do you think? Geophagy, is it I real? I didn't hear a thing after fecal matter. <laughs> that was it. That's the last what thing happened? I heard. Your brain just shut down. Right shut, down. shut right down, yes. Any quick thoughts, Savannah? No, I want to say the next one before I make right, my decision. Al? NBC Commissary, you've been able to eat dirt cheap in years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. Natalie, story number two. Okay, well, I think I've tried just about every sport on the planet. Well, guess what? I was wrong. <laughs> Wausau, Wisconsin, home to the dairy farm, paper mill, and of course, Hoofball. No, not football. Hoofball. Goal! In the cutthroat world of equine soccer, ref Terry Fenwick has seen it all. Does it ever get dirty out there? All the time. Have you seen those players? They're not very nice. We're talking horses or people? Yeah. We'd like to get things underway with our national anthem. While shin guards are optional, biting and lying on the ground are not allowed, or it's back to the barn. You ever feel like a horse's ass? Think I can do this? I think you could. The problem okay. is to be able to get a horse to pass in a straight direction without getting too far off. Even an MVP like Oreo isn't too high on his horse to pose with an amateur like me. Well, there you have it, guys. A little hoofball. What do you think? Any thoughts? I think I know which one's fake. You do? You think for sure, huh? I Matt, you confident. yesterday had some great indicators in your story. Did you see any little indicators in you? I was looking, I was looking for little help things you? that might trip me up or trip Natalie up on this, and I have to be honest, I did not detect any. Not sure? Mm -hmm. Now? 
I, this is going to be a tough one. All right, I'll give you guys just a second to think about it. Let's go okay. to our Plaza audience. All right, everybody, hold up your card. The story you think is fiction. It's either the soil or the horse sporting event. Whichever one you think is fake, hold that up. Pretty split, that? Natalie. Yeah, that's pretty split. This is going to be a good one here. We did a good job then. All right, guys, the time has come. Al, I need your answer. Which story is fiction? You're going with soil. You don't believe that story to be true at all. Savannah? I say it's soil because you can't make those horses kick those balls around for a fake story. Okay. A little explanation, Matt? I think they're both fake. <laughs> that's that's not fake. an option. No, you got to pick one. I think the Soil is fake. Unanimous for our contestants. Soil. Savannah's got a point lead thanks to Sean Hayes yesterday. Remember, if you're watching at home, you can also play along. Make your pick at today.com. Tweet us with the hashtag, hashtag soil or hoofball. Well, We're going to take a break. Oh, we'll we'll back to the commercial. Oh, it's a little cliffhanger we do on Fact or Fiction. We'll be right we'll back with the soil. answer. But first, this is today anymore. on NBC. It makes you wonder who's doing right with someone tonight and whose car is parked next door. Everybody, we are back with the results of Fact or Fiction, day two, the game show that's sweeping the country and is challenging you to spot the fake story. So is it soil, the least processed food on earth, or hoofball, a sport for the entire family to play, including your horse? Our studio audience, pretty split down Hold the middle. Cards up again, guys. So Natalie's see, presenting yeah. our two stories today and is going to throw a little wrench into our process here. Nat, you want to ask the gang? Yeah. In lieu of them picking this is a fake well, story. Well, you all seem so sure of yourself, so therefore I'm going to put you to the test to make sure you give it a good try. Here's soil. Anybody willing to eat a Go little ahead, dirt? Matt, Savannah. So, so we would then, well, wait a second. We're not wait, saying wait. it's not real soil. We're just saying no one would Go sell ahead. it. Do you want to try well, it? No, you're no saying, I'm not. It's fake. I stand by it. I'm going to eat it. Stand by what you're going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. You remember okay. that fecal so part, Matt? Fecal matter. So, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. What does it taste like? Taste, huh? Is it dirty? It's good. Should I try it? Tastes like you chocolate. should try it. It's fantastic. Okay, I'm not trying it. That's well, my sign. You are absolutely. Do you actually got a poll? Yes, it was 68, 32% for our viewers at home. 68% think soil think is the soil fake is story. Soil is the fake story. Okay, yeah. well so then. So our contestants and people at home pretty much on the soil stage. You thing. are right, as Ooh. are the 68%. Yeah. Yes. No, what did I just eat though? This is Oreo cookie. In oh fact. my God. <laughs> <laughs> If you take a look at 
the video, okay. there is a quick shot of the, uh, the wife in the pantry, and right next to the soil product, okay, first is her name, uh -huh. Linda Tara, yeah, come Tara on. being Earth. Right. right. Okay, oh, wow. so okay. that's the first giveaway, and yeah. the second clue, as I said, in her pantry, She's got the product of soil with the Oreo cookies right next oh, to it. That's not really a good clue. Really Everybody has Oreos in your pantry. Yeah. By the way, the American Equine Soccer League in Wausau, Wisconsin, an amazing team, a lot of fun to play with. So huge shout out to them because what they do is great work. And it's great for the horses and for the family. Can I well, just ask one question? Yeah. You wouldn't have actually let me eat in the yes, soil. Oh, yeah. would in a heartbeat. You know heart when you said fecal matter, I said you have to try it. <laughs> and with that, thank you very much, Natalie, for presenting your two stories. Congratulations to those of you who got you it right. We'll have two more Oreo? stories to play tomorrow. And remember, at the end of the week, the host with the most points is going to get five grand for his or her charity. Savannah's in the lead. In the lead. How does she get a point for Sean Hayes? Hayes. Well, yeah. he was How my does she get that? Don't relitigate. No. I get a point. Because she you. would be behind. That's a bunch of fecal matter. <laughs> yes, ma'am. We are back after this. Amen. All right, and Tom Felicio caught the lunch here for the next one. It's a bad to a clean, they got it for their sister.